that's me. My name is, in fact, Michael. Although I go by the non de plume Mike. Listen, Mike. this is episode 51. 51. <laughs> Yay. We, we, we have crossed the threshold here. Yeah. We, we, you know, it's too bad we can't get like picked up for syndication and we make a million five each. Too bad that yeah. can't happen. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Easy peasy. Let's just make that happen. Right. Let's just, I mean, if Seinfeld and friends can do it, come on, right. we're just as good as them losers. Right. <laughs> What's the problem? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, maybe my doorbell isn't working. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a They're check not knocking down my door either. <laughs> no. Well, you just moved. So everything's just catching up. But I've been here right. three years. So, you know, it's it's, it's Potts down here is a little uh, it can get a little congested. So they're probably on yeah. their way any any day right. now. Any hey, day. I, I want to talk about our 50th show for a minute. I got yeah. so much feedback. Yes. Good, loving, wonderful, sweet feedback from a lot of yes. people. And I tell you what, Tim did a really great job with that video. A lot of people told me uh the emotions it it drew out of them and um i gotta agree he did a yeah. great job he, he did really did job. yeah he it, did. It, it captured the the amount in the volume of what we did and in yeah. the feel the feel especially yes. the feel that extra feel that i feel we have uh, he captured it perfectly so Tim, well was awesome yeah from day one you and i have always been on the same page uh, it's always been uh, by fans, for fans, you know, about fans. And so mm -hmm. he, he, that video really captured that, that. you know, for people. Yeah, because yeah. Some, even sometimes I have a hard time describing how it is I'm feeling about a certain situation or, or mm -hmm. a guest or a podcast. And it really it came across really well. So just a big shout out to Tim on that. Um, yeah. I just loved it. And um, our, our good buddy, Mr. Babcock, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just love I just want to give a big a big shout out to him, too. And just for I don't know, just for feeling whatever it is he feels towards us and the podcast where you can pick up shirts and, you know, all little silly little knickknacks and fun things if you're so inclined. And it's just um, I don't know. He does a great job on it. And he just decided to do it. Like, yeah. He just wanted to. And right. He did. I don't know. He, he just called and was like, hey. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's just, a, it's nice. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just, when, you, when you get someone who wants to be part of something that you're trying to put together and, and they do it, I don't, and he's very good at what he does. So, anyway, yeah. just, I just wanted to say two big shout outs uh, oh. to those two Thank you. hooligans. Um, hooligans. <laughs> Hooligans. They're fun. They're fun. I'll put yeah. up pictures as you're talking about that. Thank but, you. But Rick and his wife too, Deb, just the sweetest couple. Right. And, uh, and, and he, yeah. he said he retired now, didn't he? He did. He did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how he made that happen, man. That's amazing. Well, it's funny. I was talking to him several weeks ago, and he he was like, "Well, I retired," and <laughs> and I he I think he does reconstruction as well. So now he's taking on house projects. He's like, "I've oh, never wow. worked more." So now oh, he's working God. for himself. So he's. Retired wow. from his, you know, his corporate job, if you will, and, yeah, and yeah. like a dog for himself now. Well, I, yeah. I wish him all the best. I really yeah. do. I really yeah. do. It's hey, crazy. um, I, I heard there's an artist out there it's supposed <laughs> supposed to be kind of decent. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, it, Van Van Gogh. Van Gogh or something. Is it Van Gogh? Is it Van Gogh? <laughs> it is. That's a that's a cheap laugh. I apologize. Uh, yeah. So so everybody knows how crazy I am about that Starry Night. Um, yeah. Uh, painting and I here in Nashville and it's actually traveling. I think it's in several cities. I know it was in Boston, and right now it's the Van Gogh um, immersive experience exhibit. I didn't say that smoothly, but anyway, it, it's you go in. There's this big room. I mean, it's like a couple stories high. Even the floor is involved and it's all these lights and then the 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 you know comes in and out of all his paintings you know and it's it's a moving experience wow uh literally <laughs> and emotionally wow. you know what i'm saying so i will say because you know i had my parents with me and my aunt sue and they're 80 plus and so my mom and my aunt sue were fine but my dad He's 87, got a little dizzy, and there is not a lot of seating at these exhibits, which is my really my only complaint ah. because 
you know, not everybody is 25 and can sit on the floor. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if you go to this experience, bring a little chair uh, if you have an elderly person. But it is so beautiful. You feel like you're walking into all those paintings. Um, wow. And so, yeah. And then we got back. I will say this. There's this one movie out there called Loving Vincent. The entire thing is painted animation. So the whole movie... It's about his life, the circumstances around his death, which are up in the air, at least according to this movie. Uh, I would recommend Loving Vincent to everybody if you have any interest in Van Gogh or um, anything about him. His his life is pretty interesting. But the whole thing looks like a Van Gogh painting. It's the, oh, wow. I've never seen a movie like it. It's very, it's wild. It's wild. Um, Who's the, any notable star? Is Stallone's in that, isn't he? Oh yeah, uh, yes, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I he must loved, have missed that no, that's one. That's we're talking about. It. <laughs> I must have missed that one. I'll shut up now. But yeah, so and then the only other fun thing that, that's here in Nashville is there is a full scale a scale of Par the Parthenon, and we're gonna go see that later today. So yeah, and that's, that's the, what I'm up to. <laughs> that's toga only. Yeah, you have to, you can't go in tradition. You have to wear a toga. A toga, yeah. Right, right, right. And how does your mom and dad and Aunt Sue feel about that? Well, it is October, so we can swing by a costume store and get it. I guess so. Oh, they don't know yet, do they? No, they don't. No, they, I'll, they don't I'll, know yet. I'll let them know that that was your idea. They'll love that. <laughs> you know what? Set your cell phone up on a shelf and just film their reaction. I would love that, and then we'll play it next week. Okay. And then they could then they'll sue us, and then we'll. That's it. <laughs> We'll just be, that's it we'll be all living in a van down by the river uh you know what be, i just thought of something now that you're talking about that um uh, van gogh thing um yeah. in philly the month of october we have rocky on broadway but it's i guess technically off broadway it's nice. playing all october it's tonight's opening night as a matter of fact and um so i saw the play in New York in back in August, uh, I think it was what six fourteen or sixteen, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, it was really, really well done. And I am a Rocky purist, as everyone knows, but right. uh, it they the play was fantastic. It it was really, really well done. And the thing about Rocky, uh, the play, it's not a Sylvester Stallone Rocky. The okay. man who played him <clears throat> in New York was Andy Carl. It was more of like a, a neutral Rocky. In other words, you know, you can't have, it was a lot of singing. There's acting, but there's a lot of singing. Yeah. So you, I don't know that it would have come across in the way they had intended it if it was a Sylvester Stallone impersonation of Rocky trying to sing. I, I get it. Would, it. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't work. So Andy Carl, like, I mean, he's a, you know, very handsome guy, very skilled uh, and a real good singer. So, um, he he did it, and he did a, quite an amazing job, as the rest of the cast did. So uh, I don't know who the actor and actress is that's mm. playing them in Philly, right. and I don't know if the stage is going to be as big as the one in New York because the stage, the, I'm sorry, the ring comes out into the audience. The first five rows of chairs, they wow. leave. And you sit on the stage. Those people get to be part of the play itself as audience members in the fight with Rocky and Apollo. It was really, really very, very that well is done. cool. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really good. Anyways. <clears throat> so I just want to mention that. Yeah. And then I had um, just a, a short little story here about something. I don't, I don't know if we've talked about this or not, but it was kind of a fun moment in, in my life. Um, Stacy, I sent you a picture of mm -hmm. a painting I had done. Could yes. you put that up for a, a moment while I kind of talk about it? Yes, here it is. There you go. Okay. I had done this painting years back. Um, I never thought I would ever have both Sylvester Stallone's signature and Carl's uh, Carl Weathers' signature on there. Yeah. Uh, that's a homemade frame I made. I just kind of put it together. I wanted it to be something different. I wanted it to have some type of a Roman column, mm -hmm. Philadelphia Parthenon thing there, right. you know? Yeah. So uh, I, it came out pretty good. I'm very happy with the frame, but I love the painting. Um, and you can see on the right-hand side, it says Sly Stallone. And of course, Carl says, ain't going to be no rematch. All right. You can <laughs> take that down. Um, so uh, several years back, 
uh, I was 44 years old. I got hired to be a door greeter at Chiller Theater. It was like um, it was in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and they had a boatload of stars there. It was it was great. It really I mean, anybody in in, in like the Chiller, it's a scary horror movie convention. And they had Carl Weathers there. Well, why would they have Carl Weathers there? Right. Horror movie predator. Right. Ah, yeah. OK. But because Cherry Hill is right across the Delaware from Philadelphia, they said, well, <laughs> we got Apollo Creed. And that's who came. I mean, Apollo Creed fans were there. Rocky yeah. fans were there in, in tenfold. So yeah. anyways, I, I on an off chance that I happen to be part of this, that I would happen to see Carl, maybe I could get him to sign it. But he was charging like $100 or something like that uh, per person to get a signature. And I wouldn't I would never pay for anyone's signature. I wouldn't pay for slides. I'm glad I have it. And I don't say that to be a defiant jerk about right. it. No, and I, I don't it. think there's there's nothing wrong with paying for a signature. For me, there's no value in it. If if because anyone can give a money and they can sign it. I want a signature to come from some type of a meaningful moment. I get a conversation mm -hmm. that now that has a meaning to yeah. me. Okay. So anyways, uh, when I get all done, the people come over to me and, and they say to me, um, Hey rock, you know, we want you to, and so we know you're all done, but you know, there's something going on with Carl Weathers. He's in a private room. He's got like 400 fans in there and he's taking forever. Could you go in and just kind of, I don't know, rocky it up with everybody. And I go, yeah, oh. that's, okay. that's okay with me. But like, does Carl know? And they go, yeah, we'll, we'll tell him. We'll tell him. They never told him, but they did tell security. So <laughs> I, I had my manager, Chris Wiseman with me. And I had my dad uh, on the chance that we might get to meet this. Like I only had to work for an hour as a door greeter. So they were off doing whatever they were doing. And then we came back and I'm carrying this painting with me. And I enter the back. Security sees me coming and they know. They say, come on in, Rock. This is your entourage. And I go, yeah, OK, nobody has to pay. Come on in. So we go in and I'm standing at the back of the room. In the front of the room is this big, long table. And Carl is sitting in the middle of it. And to the left is a line of 10 people. And then there's about 400 chairs with Rocky fans in them. And the room is somewhat loud. And, you know, you could you could tell people were like antsy. It's like they want to go see the rest of the convention. Right. And you could only go 10 at a time. And then you would sign and say a nice hello to, with Carl and get a picture. And that's that. OK. All right. So I don't know what to do. I've never had to keep a room occupied while a major star, <laughs> Apollo Creed, is up front. OK. So yeah. I handed the picture to my father and I just yelled as loud as I could. Yo, Apollo, I thought you said there were going to be no rematch, you know. And he he's sitting at this table and he leans over so he could see around all the people. Right. And he goes, Stallion, you got a dull skull, Stallion. <laughs> Listen, chump, get up here right now. Let's finish this fight right here, right now. I love it. That's he awesome. jumps up, whips off his jacket, and I he starts to hurry around yeah. the table and he's yeah out punches and i'm full rocky regalia i got the fedora the leather jacket bruised eye gloves right i said uh dad what the hell does that mean and he goes i think apollo wants to fight you son. i think you're about to get knocked out <laughs> yeah so i take uh i, I take those kind of like swagger rocky movements like southpaw style yeah i'm, go I'm going up for him and i'm we start meeting. We start throwing a couple punches. We're done, and we're going in a circle for about forty seconds. I cannot believe I'm shadow boxing with Apollo Creed. Now, Apollo is six foot two, and yeah. on a really good day, with a with a, a pair of brand new shoes, with a <laughs> pair of winter socks, I scrape at about five ten and two millimeters. Okay, right, right, <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> We're going around and I just lose my I, I completely lose it. I start turning into a fanboy and I feel his fist whiffing the brim of the Rocky hat. And wow. I keep telling myself, whatever you do, don't lean forward. Don't lean forward. He's going oh. to crush your face. I'm like, okay, so, so I'm trying to back up if I'm going too far or whatever. Yeah. And he sees I'm fading. I'm becoming fanboy. And he raises my arm and he goes, winner and champ. Rocky Balboa. And uh, he goes uh, to the whole place, right? He goes, 
you guys mind if I sit with Rock here for a minute and talk to him a little bit? So he stops the whole production. With I don't know if people were happy or not happy about it, but they were like, I don't know if they knew I didn't have to pay anything. I just right. cut in front of the line to, to get pictures, handshakes, and autographs of them, right? So, anyways, oh, I didn't send you the picture of me and him together, did I? Well, I said I'll put it in. Oh, I'll put it yeah, in. All right, that's true. Yeah. Right here is a picture of me and Carl um during this little fracas. And I have some video we're gonna play in just a moment. So I'm sitting behind the table, we're face to face, and he's staring at me and he goes does sly know about you and i go yeah he does and, mm -hmm. and sly did but we weren't close like we are now okay right, right and right. so we start talking little by little and then um i get up to leave I, and i stop around the table and i said oh carl this is my dad and then so my dad <laughs> sits down with carl and he starts my father this is, we always tease my father <laughs> about this he kept calling carl weathers mr withers Oh, no. Yeah. And he kept Oopsie. saying, oh, man, Mr. Withers, you're just the best, Mr. Withers. And Carl never corrected him. Oh, never I bet he hears that a lot. Him. I'm sure he hears it a lot. Yeah, he yeah, probably sure, does. Yeah. yeah. But it, it, it was really funny. It was just really, really funny. Anyways, um, what takes place next is this little video. Would you play that, Stace? Yes. Coming right. right here. Right. Oh, oh, man. God. You're beautiful, <laughs> man. I appreciate that. You want it in silver? Yeah. Sure. That'd be great. Just, uh, uh, oh, yeah, ain't gonna be no rematch. Yeah. I love it. Love okay. it. Ain't gonna be no rematch. All right. Oh, well, that'd be brilliant. You didn't know you were gonna get a show today, did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do this all day with you. It's no problem. You could punch me for like five bucks. <laughs> Seven bucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> hey, you know, you're not gonna believe this, but. Today is my birthday, 44 years old. Is it you really know? today? Yeah, you screwed up my plans. My family's supposed to take me out tonight for dinner. Now I gotta drive all the way here. Can you believe this? Carl, I screwed, screwed up your plans. <laughs> Come on, man. He was great. That I, I, oh. he was the I, Carl Weathers was absolutely so generous and kind and fantastic. He was so nice. He really was. Um, the, you don't think like if again, if I was to tell somehow time travel and tell my 11 year old self, right. you will be interacting with Apollo Creed as you are dressed as Rocky. He goes, you're not going to believe this. My head would have exploded at that right. point. I and, think I think. It, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, Continue. no, no, no. Go, no, no, no. You go. Well, I just love that he fell right into, you know, he just got right into it with you. Yep. He, you know yep. what I'm saying? Talk about a professional actor. He, he yep. knew exactly what you're doing. And then it became a whole scene. That was, that's he knew cool. it was, he knew it was a good moment. Yeah. He knew this is a good moment. People are going to get a kick out of this. This guy is not nuts. He's, you know, he's just playing into the it's whole fun. thing. That's mm -hmm. why he's there to give fans memories. Yeah. And, uh, it was one of my really, uh, cherished, memories i yeah. really really love that day and he, he let my father sit there my father's calling the wrong name and he, carl writes on the picture he gives my picture a, my dad a signed picture he writes to rocky's dad you know and i thought oh. wow how awesome is that and yeah. um because this is a story that you know we tell over and over again and we go back to it and we just think man when those cosmic tumblers all combine and start to interlock it's just it's yeah. it's amazing yeah. it um it, uh, it it really is yeah but it's you're really old is. those moments mike you know what i'm saying you you know you say oh, i'd never pay for it but all the hard work that you've done since you were a kid that paid that paid for that moment there, there are you times I, I there are times i think you have a fair point I, I won't often give myself a compliment but i i do agree in that aspect you know you you go through years of mocking from various degrees mm -hmm. and from people you don't think would do that to you. Mm -hmm. And and when that happens, it, it becomes, it goes everything from like a, it's like a bad penny that keeps showing up. It becomes like a badge of honor. And it also becomes baggage that you carry with you and you never really get past it. You yeah. never, you just never really, uh, I think we learn how to, it's like, living with conditions or something right and mm -hmm. and and i think we find a way to move through but every once in a while those insecurities pop up and it's certain moments that 
let's stay with you. They may, have, they may have happened when you were 52 or right. you know 48 or whatever. Right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> enough about me and my unique, yeah. odd, strange life. <laughs> hey, do, we, do we have a guest today? We do have a guest today, and this gentleman, his name is Mikey is he G. He's he here. Is <laughs> he is who, here. Who is this, Mike G? Mike G. Mike Gonzalez. He is here with us. I was going through his Instagram. He's going to be a ton of fun. He's uh, loves Stallone, loves Rocky. He's everything we love to have on our show. So, Mike, I'm going to bring you in here. Hang on, my friend. There he is. Hey, yes, Mike. Man. Yo, Mike. What's up, Mikey? Good How to see you. How are you doing, man? I'm doing so good. If I was doing any better, I'd have to kill myself. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a I, long time coming. I know, man. I know. I, I missed you last time when you were in Philly. Um, Let's see. What was that? Uh, last summer, maybe? The, well, I was I was up there in May. Okay. Um, I was up there in May. I was only in for like six hours. I had a del- uh, uh a flight that it was a delay in in Philly. I had oh. six hours. I'm like, you know what? If I'm in Philly for six hours, I'm going to the steps. Yeah. Um, but it was last summer. Yes, I was in Philly. Um, once again for only half a day. And uh, you, unfortunately, you were tied up. I had reached out to you. You were tied yeah. up. But um, yeah, we continue to miss Pat's. Um, still looking forward to to attending that tour, though. Yeah, Absolutely. man, it, that that's gonna happen. There's there's no doubt. I love that cardboard cutout in back, or is that Sly? I can't tell. He seems uh, a little flat. Today. Oh yeah, <laughs> got a story that. for that. <laughs> yeah, so I got the Sly c- cut out in a suit, and then I got Rocky right next to him. But yeah, absolutely. Now, did I don't know, Stacy? We'll get to when do you want to get to the story on the cardboard cutout? You want to dive into what Rocky means to him first, or do you want to open up with that story from Mike? What, what that? Uh... Yeah, yeah, Mike. Tell us. Uh, I, I have all your pictures ready, so tell us how you utilized <laughs> that cardboard cutout. <laughs> it's, the big, big Rocky points here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, when I was a kid, you know, three, four years old, I was a big uh, WWF or I'm sorry, WWE fan. Uh, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man. And anyway, so you know. I would go home, I would be at home, and my dad was watching Rocky Three or Rocky Four. And I kind you know, I see a ring and I see two guys fighting, and I just associated that with uh, the wrestling side. Mm-hmm. And the music, it was really the music that really just it grasped on me. He's about four years old. And then um, I'll never forget my uncle, he bought me a yellow pair of boxing gloves. And I'm like, these are the same gloves that Rocky had in Rocky Three. And I was hooked. I was absolutely hooked. So back then, you know, in the late 80s, so my aunt, she recorded Rocky 3 and Rocky 4 on, on one tape. I watched that tape at least a million times. <laughs> I mean, it. by the time I was six years old, I was going through the lines over and over and over and over again. And by the time Rocky 5 came out in 1990, I was like, I was, I was just so pumped because, you know, one came out, I was born in 84. So the only one I was ever really alive for was Rocky Four, and I was only one. Yeah. And so when Rocky Six came, uh, Rocky Five came out, I was, I was on cloud nine, ready to go see that in the theater. Um, oh. I, I, I don't remember going to see it. My dad tells me, "Tell him blue in the face." Oh no, I brought you to see it. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> so, so that's why when Rocky Balboa came out, I saw uh, that in theater seven times because wow. to make up, you know, um, and then you know with the Creed movies, um. My now wife, Sybil, she surprised me and she brought me down to Miami and they did a, a 35th anniversary showing of Rocky Four. Went down there. I was wearing my T-shirt. I wore one of my robes or, you know, the fedora. And I was, you know, I walk in there and I see like, you know, just a bunch of Rocky fans. And I'm like, this is home. This is like, this is where right? I should be. This is great. <laughs> right, um, right. You know, but uh, no, Rocky, you know, the message that it stands you know, I don't have to tell you guys, but for me personally, it's just the never give up attitude. Um, you know, there's been so many different things that have happened in my life, whether it's on a health wise or uh, career wise or relationship wise, whatever it is. You know, these movies, depending on what I'm going through, pe- that pe- depends on which movie I'm going to watch. You yeah, know, gotcha. um, mm-hmm. I, c- I can relate to so many. Of- and as I'm getting older now, I'm mm-hmm. 38, but I'm still getting older. You know, now the uh, just because you've had one too many birthdays, who say that you can't, you know, yeah, and yeah. that that sticks up here, too. So um, yeah. I resonate 
with everything that this man has done behind me and th- what those movies stand for. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're love stories. And I know, yeah. Mike, you've talked about this hundreds of times, and I, I, I feel that way. I'm, I'm sure. sorry. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still a little uh, amped right now. You know? I'm, oh, I'm, God, that's... we. You're that's, great. You're great. That, that's good. People people get tired of me and Stacey. They, <laughs> we, this is why we try to have guests on, because we're, we're just... We're, we're Like, I even block my... I don't even look at myself. <laughs> I I feed off your energy. Trust me, that's a good thing. That's a good awesome. thing. Yeah. Tell me, tell me a little bit about your your back wall. You've got some great shots up there. How did you decide what went where? And is there anything that sticks out to you that's maybe you, really has a, a special place for you? So, you know, on this side, I have um, you know the movies one through uh, six, six plus yeah. Creed down mm-hmm. there. Um, there's actually a picture that may look familiar to you, Mike. Look at that guy. Right? Hey, nice. So I hope you're not offended, Mike. <laughs> what I did was I cropped my face on your body. That's great. That's great. Yeah, get it, get it. That's awesome. As long as you didn't put my head on Lindsay Lohan's body. All right. So what I did, Mike, was I cropped your face, my face on your body. Now, wow. I'm a big time Giants fan. Now, this T-shirt yep. you were wearing said Philly. I even crossed that off when I went Rocky <laughs> because I, 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 even though it's not my body, I can't wear a T-shirt that says Philly Eagles. I just can't do it. I'm a giant. I fan. understand. I <laughs> understand that. So, and I, I messaged you once when I first did this, like five years ago. Um, I hope you're not offended or, no! or upset that I did this. No, it's <laughs> it looks man. good. It's amazing. <laughs> it's special. Well, I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's uh, I, I, I love it. I at first I thought, oh, he's got a picture of me and Sly on the wall. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> nope. Get Mike out of there. <laughs> you know, every time I watch your videos, Mike, I, this picture, I see, I always see this that's picture. Yeah, I got the same picture. <laughs> hey, that's um, the moment from the end of the Pretender where yes. Sly and I are talking. It was that moment when, of course, well, you know the story. But yeah, that no, that looks great, man. I, I'm glad you got it. I'm glad. Yeah. I mean, I even cropped my face on Paulie's body at the end of Rocky. Tech, I see you know? that. I'm looking at that right now. You're getting a you get a barrel hug from Rocco. Yeah. So you know, then on this this side, I have different clips. One of my favorite pictures, actually, Rocky and Adrian's wedding picture, because that's oh, yeah. not something you see a lot, right? Right. Right. Um, right. But um, yeah. So they also got Rocky and Buckus sitting on the steps. Love it. You know, a a, a shot went and. Uh, in Rocky Two, also him on top of Thunderlips. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I try that. to find different different pieces that you don't you don't usually see. Yeah, you know? and yeah, actually, yeah. the flea market's actually a great place for a lot of this kind. Of oh, really? Don't I know? Don't right. I know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised, out. Stacey. There's so much. That's where I found my first Rocky Four bomber jacket. Oh, we no, were in, yeah, it was 1985. I was in. Um, oh, right. No, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like um, March or April. Of the mm-hmm. no, not 86. I'm sorry, March or April of 86. And my uh, parents and I went to New York and we went to one of those corner flea markets that were in the city. And there's this old bomber jacket, just like Rockies. Mm-hmm. And I wore it for about five years and then it got dry rotted. But you know, Mike, you're totally right. That's it, man. That That's a great place to go. About 10 years ago on, um, on uh, Craigslist. Okay. This guy was selling um, a, Ro- a Rocky Four staff jacket oh, that, fun. that Sly had given to the staff or what have you. So <laughs> I drove 40 minutes down south. Um, I don't remember how much I paid. It was like maybe 50, 60 bucks I paid. This thing is in mink condition. Perfect, perfect, perfect condition. Wow. Is that the um, one with the boxing glove circle? Yes, with the boxing on gloves. The back. Yeah, with the circle, with the circle oh. in the back. I got it. Go get it. Yeah, go get it. Go get it. Don't kick me off. No, no. Oh, <laughs> Sorry about that, Stacy and Mike. That's my okay. Wife, my wife's civil. She's a, uh, she's a real neat freak. So she's always rearranging my closets. But yeah, Mike. Yeah, that's rare. Yeah. Wow. And I mean, I mean, this thing. I don't know if it's ever even been worn. I wore it once, like in my office for like oh, really? a minute. And that was it. Yeah. If wow. you saw, and what you what you pay? 60, 70 bucks? What'd you say? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know that that's you, that's you'll rare. Get, I've never seen that. Bidding for that would start at around five hundred. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, that that's 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 those you could have only gotten from Stallone giving them out on set mm-hmm. uh, to the crew. So uh, there there's because there aren't a lot of them. They weren't right. mass produced. 
So right. that is something I don't know. I, I heard a rumor. The slice alone shop might be reproducing them for mm-hmm. the Stallone shop. I don't know that they are. I know yeah. they're doing the glove, the boxing glove, and I know they're doing the uh, sweater, the Aztec. Uh, sw- they're, I know that's coming shortly, too. So right. uh, that's going to be kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, so when I saw it, I knew this was a real deal. I mean, made in Beverly Hills. I know yeah. Sylvester's, you know, Sly's relationship with the Taylors out, you know. Out yeah. West. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, and even if it wasn't real, I mean, I was like 50 bucks. Absolutely. You know, I, anything yeah. I get my hands yeah. on with the Rocky, you know how it is, Mike. I do. And Stacey. Yeah. Um, so then as I start doing my research, then I start seeing like, Crew, uh, crew guys wearing that jacket on the set of Rocky Four. I said, oh, I got that same jacket. Exactly. Maybe this is the real deal. And yeah. um, then I looked at it, the tag, is it the same exact tag that's on yep. this jacket? And yeah, no, that thing has set, you know, I've had it about 10 years. Uh, Sybil, she keeps it in a, like a like a dry cleaning bag. Yep, yep, yep. No dust on it or anything. Yeah, and it just, it sits right in that closet. I, I should keep more of my Rocky jackets in dry garment bags, but I don't because I'm too busy wearing them around the house. <laughs> <laughs> and posting interesting videos. <laughs> oh, I know. Yes, I have a couple of drinks and I start posting really silly videos. Um, well, then but- you should follow me on Snapchat because I, I, I post those same videos that, you know. Do you, I don't even know how Snapchat works. I don't Snapchat's even, I don't great because. Somebody can only see the video one time and that's it, you know? Okay. And once they see it, it gets deleted, it's up in the air, and it's gone, right? Wow. Uh, you know, right. You something like that on Facebook. Oh, wait, what's going on? It could go back. Oh, this guy. Yeah, yes. on Instagram, I want to, I'll probably insert this here if it's okay with you, that video where you're like, come on, Facebook, I want Salone to know I exist. I was oh, you saw laughing. That. I went oh. back. I, I think I might screen record that if that's you should okay. put well, that in here. I don't I don't remember him doing that one. Yeah, you yes. should put no, that in here. Another example of, um, you know, it was a, it was a Friday. I had a good week at work. I have a couple of drinks. Uh, <laughs> it, my sister was at uh, mine and Sybil's old apartment, and um, so I w- I was watching something on Ellen the Ellen Show, and she's always was always trying to give back to fans, meeting uh, different celebrities yeah. or what it may be. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, maybe I can make a video that will go viral. And then, and these were, this was the day before TikTok. This was like 2017, 16 when I made this video. So anyway, so I'm like, maybe it could go viral. Maybe Ellen would see it, fly, you know, tell me to come out to California and then right. yeah, I'll come slide. You know, you never know. You never know who, what, who can meet what. And, you know, right. I mean, I, I've met, I've, I know several people that have met Sly. Yeah. And they always say, oh, you got to meet this guy, Mike. And look, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, I'd like to meet him. But, you know, so I'm like, well, maybe I could create this video. And Mike G coming to you live from the Rocky Room Man Cave here at the Rocky Room Man Cave. Kind of messed up on that one a little bit. Sorry. Anyways, Facebook, need your help. Need your assistance. You watching this. I want to try to start a movement to help me meet a certain person. Now look, all right, I get it. All right, I'm I'm, I'm never going to meet the man. I know, I know, I get it. Took me 33 years to realize it, but yes, I know, I'm never going to meet him. But I have I have a different idea, right? I have a different approach now. Right? I could say to a blue in my face, look, there's a picture of me and Sly. Yeah, we've met, right? Or yeah, yeah, look, I went to Rocky and Age Wedding. I could say all that. That ain't the truth, right? So I have another idea. Okay. How long does it take to make a video? Right? I do it all the time, a couple minutes. I'm just looking for Sly to simply give me a shout out. A simple two minute video that says, hey, Mike, how you doing? Thank you for being my biggest fan. I appreciate it. Look, I know somebody must know Ellen DeGeneres out there, right? Ellen does everything. She'll do anything for people. Get me a meeting with Ellen. Do whatever we got to do. 
But let's get it done together. Facebook together. We can make this happen. I just want Sly to know that I exist. So Facebook, I ask you, hand in hand, let's do this together. So that therefore, Sylvester Stallone knows that I exist just as he does. I don't need Sylvester Stallone to say thank you because I know. But Sly, thank you. Let's make it happen, people. Um, I forgot the tag, the phrase I said, but I, I came up with a, a really good tagline, uh, you know, help me meet Sly or Mikey G meet Sly, something like that. But yeah, yeah. it's funny. Now, you, it's would really you funny. lean towards Rocky four is your favorite? Actually, two is my favorite. Why? Two, two is my favorite because, right. You know, in life, you only get so many opportunities to do something. Some people don't even get that opportunity, but when you do, you know, make, you have to make the most of it, such as in one, but with two, he was, he still, he wasn't satisfied. Yeah. He still wanted more, right? He, he had, he had a kid coming. He knew he had the injury. He promised Adrian he would stop. But the thing was he wanted more inside in here, as he said, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like I'm becoming a, 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 a loser again. Yeah. And, and, and I resonate with that so much because I never want to stop trying. Right. Sure. Sure. So, you know, things are going good at work. Okay, well, what? where's my ceiling at? Things are going good, yeah. you know, family-wise. Okay, where's my ceiling at? I, let, let's let's keep doing more and more. And that's why Rocky too, and not as an adult, but even, even when I was like 10, 11, 12, 13 years old, Rocky two was always my favorite. Once again, it maybe back then it could have had to do with the montages and the music. But sure. as I got older and I got wiser, two always continues to stick with me more than it, more than any one of them. Now, don't get me wrong. I have a story for sure, all, including the, right. the two, three <laughs> movies. But yeah, yeah, two. Now, four is easily my second favorite, without a doubt. I got you. I got yeah. you. Did yeah. you see the director's cut of four? I did. Uh, me yep. and my pops, we went to the theater. Actually, I think I yeah, I think I sent uh, Stacy a picture of me you outside. Sure nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so me. Yeah, well, there it is. Nice. <laughs> Love it. it. So, yeah, so me and my pops, we went and go saw it. Um, it was only out for one day. I right. tried to go see it again the next day. They they said, no, we already right. stopped production. I said, well, wow. the, the 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 poster, what are you guys going to do with that? Because uh, if you're just going to throw it away, I'll I'll stand online and what, whatever I got to do. I'll yeah. pay you for it. Like, no, we got to send those back, you know, to the oh. production companies. But I tried getting that poster. Uh, that they wouldn't, they wouldn't give it to me. You yeah. could buy I think the poster is available now. You yeah. Can, it, it's yeah, the poster is available can, now. Yeah. And, and um, I, I'm assuming you know it's on Amazon Prime. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so okay. the, second, the second it was on Amazon Prime, I paid for it. I've watched, I've watched it at least <laughs> 15, 20 times by now. You know, yeah. the one thing I'll say about this, and Stacy, I actually don't know how you feel about this, or I think you said, but I forget. At the end, it was, and I loved it. And I, this is not a critique of it at all. But at the end, when you hear "Eye of the Tiger." That was that threw me for a little bit. It just it really threw it way off for me for a few seconds because yeah. we never heard Eye of the Tiger at the end of Rocky Four. What, yeah. uh, Stacy? What did you think about that moment? I I preferred the original ending there. Yeah. Um, I liked it, it ending right there at that moment on yeah. the high. I, Mike, uh, what what do you think, Mike? Yeah, I thought it was cool because it brought back the the Bill Conti sound, the music. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you had it a little bit in the original opening, sure, but it 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 just brought you back, yeah, to Rocky Three. You know, when I first got into, you know, I was there an hour before the show started. I saw the previews when the when Rocky the director's cut started starts. As you guys know, it just starts with them fighting. I'm like, are we late? Did I miss something? Right, Rocky you know, Three. It no opens Rocky up. Ever started like that, right? Right, right. And it just jumps right in there. Yep, and. Um, but with the 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 ending of the I had a tiger at the end, I didn't I actually I liked it a lot because once again they're 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 bringing in something. I mean, mind you, these movies were 40 years ago, but they're yeah. still, they're, they're 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 able to switch bring oh, it yeah. in and it makes oh, yeah. sense. Oh and, yeah. Um, oh 
I, I, I am not critiquing. I, I'm not. I'm yeah. just saying in that moment, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Okay, it took me a little while to get used to it because, like you said, we've got nearly 40 years yeah. of watching this movie yeah. over and over. <laughs> and you know the musical keys when they're going to hit. And when it doesn't hit, wait, what? What am I? Oh, right. They're revamping the whole thing for an alternate version. And and it's, but it's also it's also just like with any lines that yeah. Sly or, or Apollo or Mickey or Adrian, even that scene with Rocky and Adrian in the kitchen. Yeah. Right. Love, with, sure. with Apollo, that threw me off because I'm expecting to, you know, in my mind, I know what what's gonna, the, what words are gonna be say next, but then they throw that. Even in the fight scenes with Apollo, I thought it was great. Yeah. How yeah. Apollo went down, but he got back up. Right. He right, showed that right, he was right, right. champion. But just like with the music, that you know what song is about to be played, or you know what line they're about yep. to say, next, you know that the, the left hook's coming, or or, yeah, or right hook's yeah. coming. So when that doesn't happen. It felt cool because it was like you're watching a, a again a, movie, a completely different movie, same movie, but for the first time. And if I and I left that theater wanting more, I said, "What do we got to do?" <laughs> sure. You know, I know the director five, the Rocky Five direct, the director's cut is out there. Yeah, but you know, unfortunately, he lost so much with Rocky One. But I would have loved to have seen some with Rocky One, Two, definitely Three. All of it. Probably mm. could have did a lot more with Clubber Lang. Um, yeah, that that's the thing. He really does. There, uh, from two through the rest of them, there's all all the deleted scenes are all left. It's scenes that weren't used, yeah. and there's a ton of them. And why MGM hasn't put them on? I don't know. Yeah. It, it's the most annoying, aggravating thing. They just announced that the 4K is coming. Uh, when is it? Is is it February? November, November or February, uh, Rocky one and Rocky two are going to be released. And then eventually they're going to release three, four, five and six on, mm -hmm. on 4K. But no special features. No, no deleted scenes. Now, I, I don't understand that. I, I really right. don't. But you know, who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Knows? No, it, it's a shame because it's it's like, you know, it's like buried treasure. You know, it's there. Exactly. exactly right? You right. know, it's mm -hmm. there. Let's do something with it. You know, I know I, I know you've talked about different uh, things about possibly like a Rocky Museum with, you know, yeah. so many different, you know, maybe if they would ever do something like that, you know, at the museum, it's certain, yep. you know, parts, you know, they'll have TV screens with deleted scenes in the in the museum. I don't know. I mean, right. uh, there's so many different ways they could go right. with it. They really yeah. do. Stacy, what do you think of a bride that allows a cardboard <laughs> cutout of Rocky to be placed <laughs> At a reception. What do you think about this? I think anything she wants, she, <laughs> she gets. Look at that. Tell us about this, Mike. <laughs> well, my wife, Sybil, is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful human being. She really is. So her dad, may God rest his soul, her dad passed uh, about 10 years ago now. Uh, he was a big Rocky fan, right? Yeah. And um, so he was a... Rocky fan, a Giants fan, and a Yankee fan. I'm a Rocky fan, a Giants fan, and a Yankee fan, right? So when we were – I like doing things that not everybody else has done, right? If, right. if one plus one is two, but why can't we make one plus one equal three? We'll find a way to make it three. Like, let's right. do something different. So right. that's – and that's the beauty about mine and Sybil's relationship. We've always, we've always thought like that. Let's do something that nobody else has done before. Let's make it our own. Yeah. So as we were – getting going with the um you know lead up to the wedding and yeah you know, we're planning everything so i'm like you know table one table two table three table four well guess what there's rocky one rocky two rocky three and i'm like wait a second so i'm going through You're all the, the characters so i'm like well, how many tables do we need so she told me how many tables we needed and i said time out what if we did top table rocky one through uh one two three four rocky balboa then we do apollo uh, table Apollo, Table Mickey, Table Adrian. You know, we, uh, Creed had just came out or was about to come out. Uh, yeah. We got married October of 2018. Um, so we we did a Table Creed. And, um, you know, and everybody that went to our wedding, they know how I am with Rocky. They know how they, they, they know. I mean, everybody yeah. that knows me knows how I'm with Rocky. Course. So a, a couple of buddies of mine, they tried reaching out to Sylvester Stallone via Instagram. Um you know, letters, anything, just to hey, will you be willing to just go and just send this guy a five second message? Hey, yo, Mike, congrats! Yeah, That's yeah. That would make his year. Um, so Mike 
Kunda, actually, you you actually gave me a shout out at the steps the morning of Vine and Sybil's uh, wedding day. Uh, did with, I? No, oh, yeah, you were on top of the steps and you said congratulations on your wedding That's day. That's right. Yes, okay. on top of the steps. And honestly, that meant that I meant remember. the world to me. Now I remember. I yes. remember. Yes. Hey, yo, Mike and Sue. It's your good buddy from Philly, Mike Kunda. I just wanted to take a couple of seconds and tell you congratulations on the wedding. Today's going to be a big day for you and uh, you ain't going to need no luck because you two are perfect together. You're probably one of the cutest couples on all the social media. So from me in Philly to you in Florida, have a great day today. Enjoy. And a hey, little advice, don't hit her in the face with the cake. They don't like that too much, okay? <laughs> I see you. Yeah, so um, a couple months before the um, the wedding, when I decided that I was going to do, you know, the table Rocky one, and Sybil, she's like, you know what, that's a great idea, let's do it. So my dad, so what I was going to do is I was going to find a tux to go on the, the Rocky stand-up cutout, right, <laughs> and put a tie on him and everything. So my dad found this Sylvester Sloan in a suit. And so he gave me he gave me that a couple of months before the wedding. I said, oh, this is perfect. You know, Sylvester Sloan's going to a, if Rocky's going to a, a wedding or slides at a wedding, this is how he's going to be dressed. He's dressed and so, ready to go. <laughs> right. So when people got to the reception, they're like, you know, this doesn't surprise me at all. You know, you <laughs> Sly here and people were taking pictures with him. You got Sly here and now we know where to sit. And everybody had different tables. A couple of buddies That's of mine great. were like, how come you put me at table Clubber Lang or table Ivan Drago? Why wouldn't you put me at table Mickey or table? You know, what I mean? like some some of my buddies they were getting like upset. Like why? Why am I in table Ivan it's, Drago? Why can't yeah. I be at table Rocky One? Or it's like the kid table. It's the kitty table. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. hey, you may want to yeah. reassess your relationship with me, pal. Yeah, yeah. that's all <laughs> I'm worth. That's, no, all that's, worth. that's yeah. funny, man. I love that. Hey, yeah. tell us so, about. Once again, just another fun way to do something different and tie Rocky in yeah. um, any way I could. Um, when we of got course. introduced, we obviously we came out to the Rocky theme song. Um, but yeah, no, Sybil, she's she's great. She knows my love for it. And mm -hmm. my, you know, she she wants to do anything that because because I love it so much. She's like, yeah, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. But she loves the Rocky movies, too. She goes nice. with me. Right. Yeah. Right. She sounds a lot like your suit. Uh, ah. <laughs> Yeah, you see, these women in our lives, I mean, they, really, they they on the they know. They know. know. Exactly. Yeah, they, yeah, they may we may drive them crazy, but they they get it. They get the big picture. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, I'm a, tell I'm a lucky me, guy. I am. Tell me about this little one. Oh. So that's Brooklyn. That's our daughter, Brooklyn. Uh, she's two now. She was about one. Oh. Well, maybe about, uh, like seven, eight months in that picture. But uh, yeah, so when uh Adorable. when she was well we found out we were pregnant uh that was one that was one of the first things i did was i bought that t-shirt and that onesie i didn't nice. know if we were having a boy i didn't know if we were having a girl but i knew eventually that whatever it is is gonna wear that shirt and exactly uh, yeah and uh so i got um you know we have a lot of friends with kids and um you know babies they grow so fast that you know sometimes they don't get to wear a certain onesie so i, yeah, I did yeah. that Six, that, yeah, that was a six to nine months onesie. So I knew that no matter what, if it was a big kid or a small kid, eventually they would fit into that. And right. um, that was actually during the Mike Tyson, uh, Roy Jones Jr. fight. Oh, nice. sure. Yeah. Tyson, right. So, uh, yeah. So there was during that fight. And uh, I'm like, you know what? And I think Brooklyn, she's ready. She's she's watched uh, a couple of the Rockies with me. I think she's, she's ready. Wow. And uh, yeah, so we took that picture. And yeah, it's always one of my favorites. I love that. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Stacey, I mean, what, what else you got, Stacey? I got uh, these are great pictures you sent us. This is from <laughs> your Philadelphia tour. I'm going to go through these real quick. <laughs> there he is. Great, yeah, there great he. pictures. So Aww. that that's when uh, so me and Sib we had to drive through uh, Philly to go up to Connecticut. This was this was three weeks before our wedding, actually in 2018. Okay. And uh, I had been to the steps one time before, but this was Sybil's first time at the steps. So um what did she think she loved it she absolutely loved it so now nice. <laughs> so i'm walking down the steps and i see a news crew there and i'm chanting rocky and i i actually think i even screamed mike kunda like mike are you around here somewhere 
<laughs> and, uh, and you had sent me a message. You said, I'm usually down there between a certain time. Look yeah. for look for the car. If, yeah. If I'm there, you'll, you'll see the you'll car. You'll see the car, yeah. Right. And uh, anyway, so I'm walking down, and the reporter comes up to me, and he's like, you know, you're very energetic. And I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm at the Rocky Steps. How, how do you not feel the energy right. when you're here? And the Eagles, they had just won the Super Bowl. I think it was week one or week two. They had just played the night before. That was a Friday. They played on a Thursday night game, and they lost. So, you know, the, he wanted to ask me some questions how I felt about the Eagles. And I didn't want to just tell him, hey, look, I'm a Giants fan. You know, I'm glad they lost. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll be on TV. Let's, you know what? Let's do it. Come on. Why not? So, you know, he's asking me questions about the Eagles, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think, you know, I think they have a good season. I'm like, you know what? I can't do this. I can't lie in this shirt at this place. I can't lie. I'm a Giants fan. I hope they lose them all. Lose them all. You should have saw the people's face. And Sybil's, you know, she's taking pictures. She's recording. Yeah, she's funny. laughing her butt off. But, like, people stopped when I said I'm a Giants fan while wearing a Rocky shirt. In Philly, in Philly. <laughs> you're lucky. That, you're lucky you're alive, pal. I know, but once again, I, love I, it. I, I, if I'm at the, I'm at the steps wearing a Rocky T-shirt, I'm not gonna lie, you know, because I ain't going against everything that man stands for. That's yeah, me at, at, at the top. Beautiful. Of yeah. That, no, uh, the first ahead. picture you showed, and then, yeah, there's us at the statue. Um, I don't remember what that was in the in the front. I think somebody was trying to advertise for something. And he asked if, if he could put uh, whatever it is in the front on the mm -hmm. ground. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember what that was. But that first picture that you showed, that one, yep. So that was when I was in Philly for the, in, the, in the layover for six hours. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. That's smart. Yeah. Yeah, I took, like I said, I jumped in a Uber and went straight there. And yeah. Smart. Good way to spend that time. <laughs> like I said, if I'm going to be in Philly... For, you know, and if I I got to get to the steps anywhere I can. Yeah. Your thoughts on a Rocky um, prequel? So I I've read a lot of different things. Um, I know there was thoughts about a TV show. There was also mm -hmm. the the script that about Mickey, mm -hmm. uh, the Angel on Your Shoulder yeah. script. Mm -hmm. um, I never I never saw that. I I think you said you read it or you saw. I have it. Stuff. I right. do. You yeah. Have yeah. It. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I think it would, if it's done the right way, yeah, right. Yeah. If it's done the right way, um, uh, there's so many of these, uh, movies that we all grew up with that are turn are coming back. Cobra Kai prime example. Brilliant. Brilliant. They do it, they're doing it the right way. They right. Sure right? And, um, I just, as long as they did it the right way. Um, and I know Sly wouldn't, he, he wouldn't allow anybody to, to, to tarnish what, yeah. What, right. what what he had um, built, but um, I would love to see uh, a prequel, especially about Mickey in, in the 1920s and 30s and yeah. everything that was going on in the world. Oh my god! And yeah. what what life was really like for boxers back then? Yeah, yeah. that would be insane. Oh, you know, yeah. maybe you can even have Gazo in there. You know, somehow maybe you know maybe Gazo's Mickey's like long lost son or something like that. And Gazo you know, in this script that uh, this guy wrote that I. Uh, his name is Carl. He's a friend of mine. He's uh, in the UK. He wrote a, this script, which was amazing. And uh, it turns out in the script, there's a, a backstory. Mickey and Gazzo's father hate each other because okay. Gazzo's oh, father was a, a, a mafia guy. And he had done something to Mickey when Mickey was a young man. So when we see Rocky, when he says, uh, when uh, Mickey yells at him in the gym for a two bit loan shark, right? right. There's like, you know, why did Mickey say two bit loan shark? Well, there's history. Yeah, there, there's a big history there. And so my the guy that wrote that script, Angel on your shoulder, he thought, well, let's spin it this way. Let's see what could happen. But, uh, you know, we know there's so much going around with the, the spinoffs and the producers and all these things. Unfortunately, things will probably never, ever get made like that. But boy, yeah. there's some great ideas out there. And um, I, I'm for whatever, as long as Sly is attached, as long right. as he's not. Whether he writes it, directs it, is the main producer. As right. long as it's got his blessing, then uh, it's got my blessing. If, right. if not, <laughs> yeah. forget it. Yeah. I mean, we we may have we may share the same name in Mike, which is a yeah. great name, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's all about Sly. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. As long as Sly does. So, so I'm excited. I, I really am, and um, I I have so many questions uh, for the guy. I I really do. Stacy. Yeah. 
before we let Mikey get out of here, what else you got? Anything else? You know, we always, we have one question that we always ask, you know what it is. And in the spirit of those videos from Instagram, you're like, Hey, Sly, <laughs> I exist. <laughs> I thought the elevator question might be perfect for you to, to, there you go. You know, if you had 30 seconds in an elevator with Sly, uh, <laughs> what would you say to him? To be honest, I would just, I would thank him. I, I would thank him for having the the courage and the spirit to go ahead and make these movies and allowing people almost into his life. And um, if he doesn't make these movies, I obviously I don't watch these movies and I don't know what kind of person I end up being. Don't get me wrong. I have great fa family, great friends. But these movies have helped me so much in life that I can all I could ever do is just thank him for allowing, you know, giving me the honor to be able to watch these movies and help me uh, develop into the man that I've become today. And um, I would really thank, just want to thank him for um, giving us, you know, unbelievable cinema for over yeah. 40 years and um, doing it with heart and class that he continues to do it. And, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And where where is, what's Sybil's favorite, Rocky? Yeah. Sybil's favorite Rocky's four. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, well, she always found Dolph Lundgren extremely attractive, <laughs> which that doesn't hurt. And uh, and then um, it, the the uh, what is it the um, the I guess you could say like the training scene. She's always yeah. She's oh always okay her. okay yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rocky Four is always her favorite. Whenever Rocky Four is on AMC, and shout out to AMC. I don't know if we're allowed to do this. But they're running every Rocky like every weekend all the now, time. You know? Yeah, they're, they're, their ratings must be going through the roof. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and now you know. I think now that Amazon owns um, MGM, and uh, I think now there's going to be some, there there is more potential now for movement on the Rocky uh, on a, either a prequel or on a Rocky Seven, which could in itself be a, a prequel right. or, or a Netflix or Amazon Prime deal yeah. you know like a rocky miniseries hey the samaritan right. the samaritan was awesome yeah, yeah i enjoy i enjoyed samaritan yeah. very much yeah it was just a lot of fun just watching sly still kick ass doing right. his thing yeah. I, I mean i don't know i love it i never get tired of it I, no you know no i mean it's it, it it's just it's look everybody has issues throughout the day everybody has problems throughout yeah. the day you know nobody's life is perfect but for two hours, you could sit down, you could watch one yeah. of these movies, and you just escape any issues okay. you may have, and you may learn some, or you may get motivated by it to overcome whatever issues you may have. Now I sound like Mike, uh, like well, I'm Rocky, uh, uh -huh. but <laughs> it's the truth, though. It's yeah, the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it and is. you know, with, with with so much other stuff that's going on on TV and movies these days, it's just eh, watch one of these. I tell people all the time, you want to watch a good movie? That's it. Watch, watch Rocky. Rocky. Get yeah. your brain straight and watch one of these. <laughs> yeah. What? Mikey G, thank you, my friend. Oh, you no. have been great today. I love this. I'm so glad you uh, you reached out, and we're all here now because, man, I I I I never thought you even knew we existed on oh, the Rocky yeah, Files. No. I, I had no I, idea. I, I watch your I watch the podcast once it gets onto YouTube all the time, and then when uh on for episode fifty, like, oh, we couldn't find anybody. And somebody had backed out. I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't <laughs> I'm like, yes. I, I, and I didn't yes. realize that you guys would, you know, because I've watched a couple episodes, but most, uh, well, I've watched like 10. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. 10, but most episodes I watched, I only saw like one, one guest once. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like just, you know, a, a regular Joe like myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm like, why did I even think about that? And I, that's when I, I immediately sent you that video. Yeah. You know, like, what I got to do? Yeah. Right. I sent it right to Stacy, and that's it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, she emailed me the next day. We were booked. I, I, you know. You yeah, know, no, I you're just, an easy pick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I said it to all my buddies. You never, you know, all of my accomplishments, everything I've done, I finally made it. I'm on boom. <laughs> I'm on the Rock and Files podcast. And you wow. know Sly watches every once in a while. So he Are may you know. Me? Yeah, and he follows oh, he, us on Instagram. He follows. And yeah. He loves our he reposts some of our things from the Rocky Files. So you just I you just, never know. I, I just got nervous. I haven't been nervous. Yeah. I just got now I'm nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous this he will love you are you kidding yeah. me yeah. i mean you mike know, you know that how you doing me. how you doing mike, mike gonzalez how you doing <laughs> <laughs> all right St stacy we are going to get mike out here before he says anything he may regret uh and let's take one last look at this glorious picture 
Um, nice. That's not Pauly, folks. That's <laughs> Sly and Mike. <laughs> hey, thank you guys so much, Mike Stacy. It was thank a pleasure. You. I'm super, super honored, super flattered to be here. Uh, you guys are doing a great job in keeping that 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 Rocky story alive, and that's what it's all about. And uh, if you yeah. ever want me to come back, I'm one phone call away. I think we will. We will. I, I I think we will. Uh, okay. it, it, it'll be uh, it'll be huge, my friend. Keep keep punching. punching. You got it, guys. Thanks <laughs> See again, you, my friend. Bye you bye. got right. it. Now that's energy. Love that. That's energy. I love that. You know, he made a great point. Like. The how would you say thank you and to thank you yeah. for all these movies? Because I mean, it's all guidance. Every single one of those sure. movies provides guidance for those moments. And I can't think of say Rocky didn't exist, which is not a world I want to live in. But like, what what would I have gone to? At least from a cinema standpoint, you know, you yeah. have your parents, you have your friends, but you know, to have something out there in cinema. I can I would have to think long and hard to figure out what I would have gone to or what would have inspired me right. that much to whatever my moments were to get up and get going. This yeah. too shall pass all of that. You right. know? Oh yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it would have been. So, well, you know, it's guests like that, that that's why we do this podcast. Yeah. We, we get it, you know, to just to get their stories, their thoughts out there. You know, it's, you don't have to have, a, a massive, long 40-year backstory. Sometimes it's just about talking about the awesomeness of the movie or a particular just sharing ideas and thoughts about it. Sometimes sometimes that's all that it takes. And um, yeah. we hear we hear that from people. Of course, like the thing with the wedding, that was great. That was great. And that reminds me, you know, we, we had our uh, Mike Ferrara and, yeah. and Jess, right? And, and of course, uh, Mikey on his. I have to get my digital entrance uh, with Sue and I because, of course, we came into, uh, you know, going to fly now. And uh, so that was kind of fun. So I, I'll have to see if I can dig mine up for the next show and maybe. Oh, yeah. We got to get a little. That. Yeah. Ha ha laugh. I've been That's thinking fun. about that. So eh, we shall see. Right. Well, Stacey, before we get out of here today, what else is going on? What's earth shattering that we need to tell uh, people? Oh, it's <laughs> Halloween this month. It is Halloween this yeah. month. Yeah. <laughs> Did, uh, where did corporate move the office to this week? Yeah, in honor of Halloween, we come to you from Frankenstein, Missouri. <laughs> wow. Frankenstein, Missouri. I don't know if uh, I'd want to live there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's... Hmm. Um, I wonder, like, if your name is Frank and you live in Frankenstein. <laughs> like, th like, there's a bar in Philly called Frank's, and it's mm -hmm. uh, all... It's named after famous Franks. Um, and uh, Frank Sinatra... Okay. Uh, uh, who's another famous Frank? Frank Zappa is there. Yeah. And there are big paintings of them all over the place. Right. And I think Frank Stallone has a painting of himself there as well. Oh, neat. I'm yeah. I'm almost positive. I pass it every once in a while on tours. And I said, Frank's it's crazy. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm talking about that. Stacy, <laughs> what what plugs you got today? Well, October for us here in the family is always uh is about my daughter. She is turning 21 ah. this month and I just uh -oh. want to wish her. I know, right? <laughs> I'm sure she has <laughs> big plans. <laughs> but I just want to say happy birthday to her. Um Aww. she is she's such a good girl and she's a smart cookie and she's wise and she's I just love the way she's you know interprets the situation and and she's beyond her years for only 20 21 wow. years old so i just exactly. i just want to say happy birthday and i love you very happy much happy birthday definitely just so proud to be her mom so that is my plug for oh. the whole month in october is my favorite month because <laughs> of her where can, where can people find you i am at had me at yo on instagram the rocky files on instagram and the rocky files podcast on facebook and mike Beautiful. what about you um i wrote a little book a few years ago called cue the rocky music there it is guys pick it up now it makes a great stocking stuffer it's kind of a fun read the other day i had to go back good. through it i was looking for some information i had forgotten that i wrote in there and it was uh i got caught up reading about six or seven pages and it was it was um it's fun so check that out uh the yo philly rocky film tour you can find me on instagram check it out i put a lot of crazy content including what i did yesterday it's a little ode to um uh the uh, ray um uh, on uh, Showtime, Ray Donovan. Mm -hmm. It was a a, Sue, uh, a show Sue and I watched all the time, and there was one moment in there in particular um, that was my favorite moment of the show. And I read 
did that yesterday after a few drinks. So <laughs> check yes, that out. Yes, you did. <laughs> so yesterday. So wait, did, what is that? What today? What is today? Today is Tuesday. So it would have been Monday the third. Yep. So Monday, October third. <laughs> check out my Instagram on that day, and uh, it starts off with me putting a disc, a CD in for yes. some dance music, and I'll let you check it out so quite a dancer there my friend <laughs> oh yeah. yeah that's not why i got married it's not why sue married me tell us about <laughs> this <laughs> oh hey yeah listen there's a little movie out there by jim toscano it's called the pretender the dream is real it is a documentary about my life it's about 56 minutes and there's a very certain special somebody in the end of it with me for about three and a half minutes uh mr sylvester stallone and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good journey. Check that out. I think you guys will like it. It is very good. All right, think, my dear. I think we're out of here. 51 in the 51. bag. <laughs> Unbelievable. 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 All right, my friend. I'm going to go. I'm going to get something to eat. And um, I'll be talking to you. Sounds good. Keep, Keep punching. punching. Bye.